Welcome, welcome, good morning. Welcome to Rise and Shine, everybody, with Cindy. You know, in uh, a Psalm 23, David writes something that is just so marvelous and, and just so uh, astute that I think we should stop and take a look at it. And it says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because you are with me. Your rod and your staff comfort me. How in worth can this little shepherd boy know all of this intimacy with God? How does he know how not to fear when things are facing him out in the, out in the desert tending his sheep? You know, I, sometimes I, I look and I wonder, you know, where, where does the, the no fear come from in us? And as I think about it, you can take a look at David's work because he knew something that we didn't know that maybe we should know and glean from. He had intimacy with Christ, int intimacy with God, our Lord. He had a closeness that said, I will feel no evil. Because you see, David didn't look at the mountain. He looked at who made the mountain. He, he looked at a bigger source way out there that God can protect him and he knew God could protect him. So we don't carry the world of the weight of the world on your shoulders. Because sometimes as men and women we do that. Instead, let's look at the the person the God who made the, the mountain, the God who made the universe. That's where that's where your strength comes from. Your strength comes from the intimacy with God. No fear, I would fear no evil comes from the strength of intimacy with Christ. So let me pray for you. If you're going through something and you need some and you need some um, prayer to try not to fear if there's an illness coming on you or, or, or depression or worry or guilt, all of this has such fear into it. Let me pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, I'm going to look to you today. I'm not going to look to, to my problems. I'm not going to look to what I can't do, but I'm going to look to what you can do. I'm going to look and know that you are a mighty God and that you help me. Your word says that I am more than a conqueror. Your word says I'm a child of God, that I am blessed. Your word says I am an overcomer. So, Lord God, whatever I'm facing today, whatever I'm looking at today, I believe I can overcome it in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Lord God. You are in me and I in you and we are in the Father that's in John. So just go out and make it a great rise and shine day, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.